Welcome back to another episode of Sports for Dummies. My name is Joshua Merchant, joined by co-host John Merchant. How are you doing? Thanks for having me, Josh. Are you having a good day? I'm having a good day. Very good. It was weird. No basketball games today. No, none at all. Very you... boring. Yeah, very, very odd. You'd, you'd normally see a, a There's only 30 of... teams. You'd think, you know, they play it every day. A few of them would play. You'd, they need think... To, you'd think the NBA could stand up, you know. It'd be pretty helpful. Pull your finger out, NBA. Now, we're going to talk about my beloved Clippers. Uh, we had oh, here we go. the debut of James Harden, as I like to call him. Uh, John, what do you refer to him as? Fat Harden. Why's that? Because he comes to every camp in the last three years out of shape. He's whinged his way out of three sites in the last three years. And the Clippers, who had finally got their act together after years of Kawhi, Paul George injuries, they just go and bring the most mentally weak superstar, arguably in the history of sports. Yeah, look, I think that realistically, you've got Westbrook, Harden, who haven't won championship right two two players who are coming together coming back they used to play back at okc maybe just maybe this isn't with... the second time they've come back josh no i know it's not the second time but i'm saying this is the got, third they've time they've caught up Kawhi hasn't played they've for got three george years. paul george hasn't played for three now, years he's never won either they finally got the mixture we, we we how, okay, how did we find, how did they finally have the mix? Because Ka- you had Kawhi in after finally all the load management. Paul George after all these injuries. Yep. Now I do feel sorry for Paul George because out of all his he, he's one player you actually you see his injury. They got Westbrook who had lost all his confidence from the Lakers um, being played out of position off the ball off the bench. But I will cut you short. He played point guard and James Harden played shooting guard, which was a great thing to see. You can't rate the first game of the season together as the gospel as to how it's going to go. I can absolutely (laughs) rate it from the first game. James Harden even... So let's think about it. James Harden, for a three-year period, was the best scorer of all time. They were calling him the best scorer since Michael Jordan. Even at his absolute peak... Now, I'm not saying James Harden, in terms of a regular season player, he's got the resume. Six-time first-team All-NBA, three-time scoring champion, two-time MVP. assist leader. He's an MVP winner. At his prime, when he was averaging over 32 points, he melted down in the finals. So what is this one who is out of shape, who's four years removed from his prime? How's he going to do anything with an old Westbrook, old Kawhi, and an injured Paul George? Well, if he went off the first game when it... Came back to 111 to 97. The Clippers lost. Exactly, they but lost. that is the first game as a team that they've played. It is the idea a long that, season three and three. For the, the idea Clippers. that Russell Westbrook and Harden at their, when they were at their apex, were, they did not win. The idea now that where they are not at their best, not as efficient, proven to drop down their performances in playoffs are going to get better. It just doesn't make sense. Well, look, he had 17 points, six assists, three boards, 31 minutes played. And he was was off 60%, shooting 50% from three, 100% from free throw. But he could have had 35 points. It doesn't matter. That's like anyone. James Harden's best. He's best when he he was the best player in the league, and he probably should have won more MVPs. Failed miserably in the playoffs. So it doesn't matter what he does here. He could score fifty, average fifty. All it right. doesn't what matter. If, what if? So you reckon come come finals, it won't matter, or to, sorry, the playoffs, it won't matter. What, so okay, so that's where what, he, that, so if if the Clippers make the, it's a good one. If the Clippers make the playoffs, do you think Harden will choke? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Based on experience, based on his past, of every final, his, every playoff he's ever had. You've heard it first. Tell the camera. James I will Harden, see it right Harden. now when Fat Harden makes the playoffs. He will have one good game and four bad games, ex- including when it is the game that matters. It's do or die, just like he did last year. He had two good games against the Celtics. They were up by 3-2, and in game six and seven, he combined for less than 30 points. When he had two 40-point games, he did it in the Spurs when the Spurs had no one in 2017. Literally no one was there. They literally they would walk into it. He scored nine points. It's just playoffs after playoffs and time and time again. He's not at even... That was at his best. It's not happening. It's not happening for me. No. 
Well, I guess we'll, we'll wrap this one up. Whatever people think, drop it in the comments. I want to see. I'm, I've got a big belief that maybe, just maybe, you know, my beloved Clippers can actually pull together a good season, finally make the playoffs and actually perform in the playoffs. I think it's a long season. We've got 76 more games to play and I think there's a lot of gelling that will happen between the squad and it's great to see that they didn't move Westbrook out of position for Harden it was great to see that they left Westbrook in the position of point guard which he still did have a pretty well-rounded game they all actually did aside from George but at the end of the day it is what it is we didn't get the win we got absolutely spanked by 14 points which doesn't help if if Harden had came out though I think it would have been a different it probably wouldn't have been a different outcome because you would still be saying finals 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 I hope this year finals can make good for Harden he can come out he's never won a ring he's one of eight players to have won an MVP but not won a ring so it is a big and the same with Westbrook and Westbrook's the other one well, there's yet. Yeah. So but you've, you've got, got Carl Malone so, so, and so you've got some other 25% good players. in the history of basketball who playing have been the, the best Clippers. player in the league who have not. Don't, don't, don't and they're, say this. And, and they're. I don't know, and I shouldn't way, have that and they stat up. And they haven't been in their prime for multiple years. Anyway, end of discussion. That is the, that is the episode on James Harden, or as John refers to him as. Fat Harden. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one. Let, let us know your thoughts. Thank you.